POSIC encoder kits for linear or rotary position measurement. Small size, high resolution, robust. Hi, welcome to POSIC in Switzerland. My name is Sietse Wouters. In this video, I will show you how to linearize a POSIC encoder. The evaluation and programming tool comes in a box that contains three items. First, an anti-static bag containing two encoders that are mounted on a holder and that are equipped with a cable and connector. Secondly, an interface board with a white plastic target holder containing either a linear scale or a code wheel. And thirdly, a USB cable to connect the interface board to your PC on which the assist software should be installed. The POSIC encoder is connected to the interface board and put in the target holder. Then the reference encoder as well as the USB cable are connected. In order to illustrate the linearization procedure, we mount the encoder on a system with a linear slide that is manually operated by means of a micro screw. We replace the encoder by one that is mounted on a transparent holder, so you can see where it is. By turning the micro screw, we can move the slide. Below the encoder, you can see the green linear scale. On the other end of the slide, you can see a gold colored scale and a high-end optical encoder that serves as a reference encoder. In the configuration window, I define what type of target I use. In this case, a linear scale with a period length of 1.28 mm and a reference encoder with a resolution of 0.1 micrometer. By pressing this button, I read the encoder configuration. Here I can select the interpolation factor and the maximum speed. I set the interpolation to 10 bits, which corresponds to a resolution of 1.25 micrometer. And I set the maximum speed to 39 Hz, which corresponds to 50 millimeters per second. Now the configuration is complete and I go to the linearization window. I can define the number of scale periods that are used for the linearization. Depending on the quality of your scale, the scale periods might have a slight variation. So it is recommended to take the average over several periods. In this case, we select two. I press measurement with default loot and move the scale with the micro screw over two periods. As the assist software needs two complete periods, the first part will be discarded. Here we see the measurement result. The horizontal axis corresponds to one period of 1.28 mm. The measurement took place over two periods and thus leads to two graphs that are nearly identical. The white curve shows the position of the POSIC encoder, whereas the red curve shows the nonlinearity. To the left of the graph, the value of the nonlinearity is shown, which is in this case 33 micrometer. The assist software now knows the characteristic nonlinearity of the POSIC encoder with this specific scale. From this nonlinearity, it calculates a lookup table and stores this lookup table inside the encoder head. Now I press measurement with RAM loot. The calculated lookup table is stored in the RAM memory of the encoder and the measurement is carried out. I advance the scale over two periods and we can already see that the curves are much more linear. The green curve shows the nonlinearity after linearization. It has been improved to 5 micrometers. As I'm happy with the linearity of this encoder, I will now store it in the encoder's one-time programmable or OTP memory. So I press program loot in OTP. OTP programming is irreversible and therefore you're always asked to confirm. As this is just a demonstration encoder, I will skip the OTP programming. Because I want to store the configuration and linearization data of this encoder on my PC, I press save. 
first I'm prompted to provide a name for the file in which the lookup table is saved. Then I'm prompted to provide a name for the file in which the configuration data are saved. The configuration and linearization are now complete. It took less than five minutes and you don't have to be a specialist to carry this out. More detailed information about the linearization procedure can be found on POSIX website.